explain that because that could be tough to navigate for yeah, some yeah. people because when you say it's by grace, right, right. it almost feels like, well, so then our conduct yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how I live. What about yeah, yeah. all the passages about Jesus saying, if you love me, obey me, yeah. so on and so forth. Talk, talk yeah. about that. Yeah, so to answer your question, by no means. No, <laughs> <laughs> no so um, this this actually comes up in Paul's letters, too, in, in Romans 2, where um, he talks about the more that we sin, the more grace does abound mm -hmm. because we're, we're um, underneath Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because we're saved by grace, mm -hmm. um, our sins are covered, past, present, and future, like Romans 7, 27. Um, you know, our, our sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. And so because of that... Um, that does that mean that we should keep sinning so that way more grace abounds? Mm -hmm. And then Paul says, no, by no means. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. the point here is that, like, sin is still devastating, right? And it destroys your intimacy with God, your intimacy with others. Mm -hmm. It destroys um, even your neighbor. It's like, you know, you're not loving your neighbor when you continue to sin. And right. you sin against your neighbor and right. everything else, mm -hmm. destroying the church. Like, And that's why when people say that to me, um, there's two things, I think. First, I think, well, um, if you want to go out and do crack and you know, hook up with, you know, um, you know, a bunch of different people and mm -hmm. all this stuff or whatever, there's consequences for your sin mm -hmm. in this life, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And also it affects your rewards and stuff like this, which mm -hmm. is another topic, you know? Um, but the other thing I think, too, is that if people say, well, if I believed what you believed about grace, then I would just go out and start, you know, doing whatever I wanted to do, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> and stuff like this. And, but then I think I say, well, if that's the case, then your motivation ultimately for doing the right thing is ultimately selfish. Mm. You see, because the thing is, if you're doing it in order for you to gain salvation, then you're not really doing it for the right reasons in that sense, mm. right? Because, um, in other words, like, because we're no longer under, under the law, then we're actually free to serve God and serve others for the right reasons, rather than these motivations Come out of on. fear or trying to protect ourselves. We can actually do them out of love to mm. love others. That's so good. And I think people, people miss this because it does start feeling like, uh, I'm just doing to get right, right. instead of doing as a response yeah. for what God gave. Right. Right? right. And so it's it, it's it's not about lawlessness. It's yeah. actually, hey, I yes. abide in Jesus because he's so good to me. That's right. And we talked about that before where you said, man, once you got the revelation of the grace of God, yes. the byproduct was like, I got to stop being a yes. scumbag. Yes. Like, I'm yes. a freaking scumbag. Yes. And but this grace is so good. Yeah. Let me get my life in order. Let me work out 100%. the junk. Yeah. You know, talk about that. Just like yeah. talk about that personally. Like what it was like for you personally. Because you got a yeah. past. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and yeah, we all yeah. do. Yeah. But but you, you were like, yo, I, I'm naturally not a good guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. Like, and this is the thing is because like this is another thing why I think it's good to understand that you're you're saved by grace, not um, through faith. Mm -hmm. You know, Romans 2, 8, I mean, uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Uh, but the reason why is too, because this allows me to be able to be honest with myself deep down more too as well, right? Because if I have to believe these other people, you know what I mean? These are the heathens like that, that do these things. Mm -hmm. Then if I have like the fruit, I mean, the seeds of those sorts of sins, mm -hmm. I have to deny that because mm -hmm. I don't want to see myself in, in the shoes of those wicked people, right? But if I know that I'm saved by God's grace through faith, then it allows me to be more honest with myself and actually work on it. Not mm -hmm. out of a sense of shame in that sense where it's like that cycle of shame mm -hmm. actually helps you. I, I, at least like in like drug addiction and stuff, mm -hmm. the cycle of shame keeps you there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But like for me, I realized once I kind of realized God's grace and really grasped it more, yeah. like I realized like, well, here I, I'm free. And now I, re I felt more responsibility in that sense. But it was out of love and appreciation for what God did rather than out of fear. Mm -hmm. So it's like if somebody gives you a gift. You know, like um, how Jesus says, he who's, um, needs, I can't remember exactly how it's worded, but if you're forgiven for a lot, mm -hmm. then you're um, thankful for a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, you end up learning God's grace more. But if somebody gives you a gift that, say it's like, you know, a dollar mm -hmm. or something like that, it costs them a dollar, you're like, okay, thanks. You know what I mean? I appreciate mm -hmm. it, right? But if you realize it was like a million dollars mm -hmm. or, you know, it, it got you out of all the debt that you were so desperate to get out of, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Then you're so grateful. What is your response? Is it that, well, okay, cool. Now I can just, um, you know what I mean, treat this person like crap, never talk to him again. It's, that's not your response. Your thankfulness and the gratefulness is what motivates you to want to, you know, do things 
for them and please them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I don't feel compelled to do a YouTube channel and to talk about the gospel and stuff like that. But because I love what God has done for me and it's blessed my life so much and I'm so grateful for it, I'm, I have a joy to give the gospel to different people. Yeah. And it's as simple as like it's the kindness of God that leads to That's repentance. Right. Fear may be a more uh, polarizing motivator in the moment, right? Yeah. Like fear... Uh, I don't want to go to hell. I, I don't. I don't want everybody to get raptured, yeah. and I don't get raptured. That was like why yeah, yeah, when yeah. I started like exploring, she's like, "All right, everybody's yeah. gonna get raptured. And I'm gonna get left behind." Yeah, 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 and yeah. the movie came out, but it's but it's it's it, but 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 the repentance part, I think, is a byproduct of yeah. understanding the kindness and grace of God. Yeah.